There's a few details on all of Lippert's axles that are standard across the board. And all of these details will help you identify if your axle was mounted in the correct orientation. For the Lippert spring axles, you will always have this clip that is installed on the front end of the spring and should always be facing the front end of your camper. Also on the spring axles, you may have electric brakes. Your electrical wire should be coming out on the back end of the axle tube towards the rear of your camper. And on that same electrical brake, you should have a slot on the bottom of the backer plate. And this is for the manual adjustment for your electric brakes, although some of these brakes may be self-adjusting brakes. Also, if you have hydraulic brakes, your inlet port should be facing the rear end of your camper, and that's to help prevent road debris from getting into that port. One commonly asked question about our leaf spring axles is how should that leaf spring be mounted onto the axle tube? There will be two variations. One is overslung that you can see here where the leaf spring is installed on top of the axle tube and that tie plate is on top and the U-bolts are on bottom. This adds height to the suspension system and to the frame overall. But you can also have what's called underslung, where this leaf spring is installed underneath the axle tube. Also, that tie plate and new bolt will switch, and this will drop the clearance height of the camper just a little bit. Another detail that will help you identify if your axles have been installed in the right orientation is the camber of the axle tube. The axle tube shouldn't be installed with positive camber. But what does that even mean? Camber's definition is to arc slightly. And when it has positive camber, it should be arced up. This will help angle that top segment of the wheel assembly out. This helps when your camper is carrying a load and it will help distribute that weight and allow for slight adjustment of all of the components for your suspension system. Now, also with positive camber, you can have neutral camber where the axle tube is straight. And since we have a positive camber and a neutral camber, you can also have a negative camber. Now axles should never be installed with negative camber because it, this will cause that upper segment of the tire to lean in and cause excessive wear and excessive load and stress to the other components of your suspension system. Now for spring axles, you should always have a positive camber, but with torsion axles, your camber could be close to neutral or have some positive camber. And that's because the way the torsion axle suspension system works, you can have that slight adjustment when it's under a load.